We design uh, the kilopower reactors to generate anywhere from 1 to 10 kilowatts of electrical power. This is enough to power several earth-based homes. And it, uh, the nice thing about it is it's lightweight, it's compact, so we can put it pretty much anywhere we want to. So the reason we need so much power in space is for things that we don't normally need on Earth, creating oxygen or creating propellant for astronauts to leave the surface of where they're at. So there's, there's several other factors that come into play when we're putting humans uh, on the surface of another planet for survival that you just need extra power for. So the next steps for Kilopar are going to be getting it into flight. Um, whether we put it into space or whether we put it on another surface of another planet, uh, we really need to take that next step into, into flight development. And we, we want to make sure that the reactor worked the way we had modeled it. There's physical models and there's analytical models. Our analytical models uh, told us that the reactor would, would perform a certain way when we, we put different loads on it or different power loads on it. And when we got to the test and we repeated what was in the experiment plan, the models matched the, the real life data. And, and in some cases, it was actually better than real life data. So no matter what we threw at the reactor, it performed perfectly.